question is x and y are independent random variable x takes the values 2 5 3 with probability 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 respectively next y takes the value 3 4 5 with the probability 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 so we need to find the joint probability distribution of x y means table we need to construct and second one is show that the covariance of x and y is equal to 0 but here why I have taken this question purposely means see way of asking is little bit different so they have given x takes the value 2 3 5 means so this is x value this is f of x value they have given that is probability so I can say x i f of x i y j and g of y j now so x takes the value how much here 2 3 5 uh, 2 5 3 that is 2 5 3 so with respect to what here the probabilities are 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 so 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 so this is nothing but marginal for your x similarly they have given the values of y also y will take the value 3 4 5 that is 3 4 5 and respect to probabilities are 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 you check here so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 will be 1 as well as 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 again you will get so this satisfies the table so with the help of this so first one what they have said find the joint probability distribution of x and y so we know that so what we have we have j i j of i j is equal to f of x i into g of y j for example so first one i will take so j 1 1 j 1 1 first row first column j 1 1 means what value we will take here it is so first value 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 6 similarly j 1 2 so j 1 2 again you will take what here so first row second column so first row first column you will get first result first row second column first row second column you will get second first row third column so similarly here so i can take it as what here uh, 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 6 and similarly j of first row third column 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 is again 1 by 6 so first row is completed so these values we have to enter here okay we'll see we'll all enter here later now now second so second row first column that is j j 2 1 that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 12 then j 2 2 second row second column that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 so this is also what here 1 by 12 j 2 3 second row third column that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 which is also 1 by 12 so we got these results remember okay so we need to apply in the table so finally one more row we have one more column so j 3 1 that is third row first column that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 which is also 1 by 12 we have to remember j of third row second column that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 which is 1 by 12 so j of 3 3 second third row third column 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 12 so these are the values we need to apply in the table we will see the table finally now the table uh, this is a given table they have given y value 3 4 5 and with respect to probability are 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 and x values are 2 5 7 and with the help of uh, with respect to the probabilities are 1 by 2 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 so simplification is nothing but 1 here now we got it j11 j12 j13 j21 j22 j23 and j31 j32 j33 so these all values we have to fill it so we got a 1 by 6 1 by 6 1 by 6 
then we got 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 from this uh, just now we have calculated 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 so this completes a what here a probability distribution that is a result result number a from the given question so this completes the uh, joint probability table now we need to work out second question they were asked uh, uh, see that uh, the, we need to check uh, covariance uh, of x y is again zero or no so covariance of x y we know that it is expectation of x y minus mu x into mu y so we need to find the value of mu of x uh, so here directly i will take it uh, x means 2 into 1 by 2 plus 5 into 1 by 4 then 7 into 1 by 4 so which is nothing but on simplification you will get as result here 4 so I can say that mu x will be what here 4 similarly mu of y we need to calculate from the table itself so that is 3 into 1 by 3 next is 4 into 1 by 3 5 into 1 by 3 so on simplification so this will be again what here 4 again so mu y is also 4 so once we got mu x mu y so we need to see what is expectation of x y so now we will calculate that expectation of x y so this is nothing but we need to calculate completely from the table that is by taking 2 into 3 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 4 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 5 into 1 by 6 plus we need have what here almost 3 rows we have to add all 3 rows here carefully so from the table we will get this uh, from the first row to here second row 1 2 3 and from third row these 3 will get so this complete simplification is nothing but what here so that is expectation of x y is equal to so expect you will get the answer here on simplification 16 so therefore covariance of x y is given by so it is expectation of x y that is 16 minus mu x is 4 mu y is also 4 so 4 4 is a 16 so 16 minus 16 which is again what here 0 so with the help of this we can again say that so we very hence verified covariance of x y is equal to 0 or I can say that x and y is also out here independent.